Hi everybody, how are you? Sorry for the dark lighting here in the intro, although it looks kind of cool with the lights. Uh, I have a little bit of a headache and didn't want to turn my lights on and make it worse. Um, but it's kind of a vibe, to be honest. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. See in the background, got my new Audio-Technica um, uh, record player that I set up today. Super excited about that for any of my audio files out there. Um, big fan of this. Uh, what one? I keep. I gotta remember what one it is. There's so many different variants. It is called. Because I feel like some of you guys may ask. It is the. I bought a lot of things this week on Amazon. The Audio Technica ATLP3 XBT, meaning it's Bluetooth, which is nice. Um. So yeah, got that set up. That's why it looks a little bit different. Put my little off-white um belt dust cover on the wall for art. Uh, and I can't afford Off-White. JC got me that a year and a half ago. So, thanks for being here on the Reaction Channel. Another great Super Nanny video. We haven't had one of these on the channel in about a month and a half. So, I got on stream last night. I was pretty drunk, I'm not going to lie. I would got done playing a little bit of um, Mario Party with my friends. That's on my gaming channel. If you like gaming channel content, it's long form. Link in the description. Give it a sub. But... Yeah, I uh, I figured why not come on stream. Ended up watching some Super Nanny, and let me tell you, it was I, th this child in this. His name is Reese. In this episode, may be the craziest, most psycho child I have ever witnessed on this show. And I've watched probably about thirty to forty episodes of Super Nanny. Okay, I am a Super Nanny fan, and. This was maybe the worst. I It was almost unbearable. So if you enjoy the Super Nanny content, you'll enjoy this one. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment if you are feeling generous. Subscribe to help me get to 14,000 and like just because you're a good person. Let me do the comment of the day. When you comment, I add your name to this wheel. I open the wheel and your name may be inside it if you leave a comment. Just like... Our friend, man, terrible, terrible handwriting by me. Willow, is that an I-N? Oh, that's a 22. Okay, Willow, I-N-22. Look at that two. Look at this difference between the twos. The first one looks like a pube. I mean, Jesus. I need I need to be better. Bruh. I mean, I, that is just terrible. But Willow, thank you for leaving a comment on the channel. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for doing that. You are the comment shout out of the day. Thank you for doing so. Um, all right. Well, enjoy the episode. I know you guys like Super Nanny. Um, and enjoy my future wife, Joe Frost. Super Nanny helps single mom of three cope with aggressive kids. Will Joe Frost work her magic? Probably. Let's find out. Let's go away, Shannon. You're not having a bath. Do what you want. Are they British? Oh, I don't care. Shannon, stop it. Go to bed and leave me alone now. I want you to leave me alone. Monday have the bedtime and routine for the kids at all. They're screaming at one another. Outside, you can hear this family having a row. And, I mean, it's just chaos in this house of an evening. Oh, happy New Year to It's taken four hours to get the kids to their bedrooms, and Super Nanny has seen enough. Single mum Tara Howitt and her three children, Casey, eight, Shannon, seven, they and Reese, four, devious, live in Shenley, bro. Hertfordshire. These kids are devious. But behind these angelic smiles, there's a war going on between the youngest two and their long-suffering mum. Oh, no. Gracie, stop it! Yeah! No! Yeah! The bare feet on the, the table. The ringleader is found out four-year-old Reese. <laughs> It's just like a wild child gone. Hey, Liz, uh, Liz how are you? Ah! Throwing things at me. Stop it! Yeah! Swearing directly at me. Liz, you're so good. Whoa! Shut up! You're rude! He's Tara's biggest challenge. Oh, what is that kid? Like three? What is he saying? Dude, he's saying F words. Challenge. And trying to control him as a constant. Oh my God! Ah. Fucking no. <laughs> Stop it! Bro, there's no way. You fucking wanker. Ah. Fucking no. Stop what? it. What? It's embarrassing. Kids, 
this by Willie. Maurice is only the start of her problems. Shannon is desperate to wrestle some of Mum's attention away from her brother. Don't you like this. Oh, bloody hell, Shannon. You are going in your room. If Shannon doesn't get her own way, she will go mad. Oh, my God, it's like a wild animal. She'll shout. She'll call me names. Idiot! She'll chuck things about. She just screams a lot. Oh, my God, this is screaming. scary. Overlooked in the chaos, good girl Casey has oh, given good up girl on Casey. getting time with Mum. Because he has three, three of us, and she wouldn't really have enough time. Oh, poor she Casey. She looks like to me that she's tired and oh. she's had enough. You are absolutely crazy. Now, come on, put your wellies on. Years of combat have taken their toll. Come on. And communication has broken down. You, get there. You get up. You go away. We don't talk, we shout. Get up the bed, now! <laughs> Tara is at her wit's end. The kids have got me very low, very extremely low. Sometimes I feel like walking out and leaving them in here on their own when they when they get me to my lowest Put them point. On the roof. But I know I can't because they're my Happy children you. and I love them. I'll take it. There she Tara is. is pinning all her hopes on super nanny Joe Frost. She spent 17 she years turning here. deviance into delights, and no child has ever got the better of. Oh God, a black cat. That's not good. Her. But how will she handle renegade Reese and his sulky sister Shannon? Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Pleased to meet you. And Jim. I'm Joe. Hi, Tara. <laughs> Hi. And who's this? My name's Casey. Hi, Casey. Pleased to meet you. And how old are you, Casey? Eight. And what's 34. your name? Reese. Oh, hi, Reese. You're four. You can shake Jojo's hand. Pleased to meet you. And what's your name? Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> they look so Jojo, nice right now. Seven. Seven. Okay. Before she can fix the family's problems, Super Nanny needs to observe their behaviour firsthand. Now, what's all in your sandwich? Nothing. It's breakfast oh time, God. but Reese isn't happy with the menu. <laughs> It's Super Nanny's first encounter with the four-year-old's violent temper. Do not hit me! I don't oh know you, my Casey. God! Me. Right to the boob! You hear that thud? If they were implants, that thing would have bursted. It's violent temper. Watch that. Do not hit me! I don't Boom! Know you. My God! A right hook to the tit. Race, listen to me. Jam, jam or ham? Nothing. Jam or ham? Jam or ham? Oh, I'll just make it then. You'll have it. <laughs> Listen to me. You've got to eat. Damn. This kid grew up to be Jake ah, Paul. Don't. <laughs> and it's not long before Shannon wants a piece of the action too. Oh. Take it. Oi! Double team. That move right there is one of the most illegal moves that you can do, okay? Especially as a kid. When you just lay on your back and start kicking like that, my brother used to do that to me. How do you combat that? It's one of the hardest moves to stop. And don't kick me! Don't! I've had enough of it from him! No! Wow! Mum's like this. She doesn't know where Back to the face. Oh my god. There's Reese playing her up. I mean, Thank you, Josie. How are you? You told it's taken on her because she's just a nervous wreck. No. Man, her, her blood pressure's got to be high. That is not nice! <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you fat fucker. No. It's quite disgusting to watch a four-year-old swear. Oh my gosh. The way Reese swears. And he does it because he gets a very nice reaction from mum. And that does need to stop. The school run is a daily ordeal for Tara. The dangers of a busy road do nothing to deter Reese's wayward behavior. Give me your hands. I like you this side, Reese. I like you this side. just try to run in the traffic? And it gets worse when Reese does a runner. Oh, no! He's zooming! No, they're just chasing up the road. He's about to run into traffic. Oh, my Come God. Oi! Oh, God. Reese! She's lost him. Oh, my God, he's so fast. Look at him go! Look at him go! What's up, Lily? Look at that man go. Hey, Kiwetta. Unbelievable. This is absolutely crazy. Quite clearly, 
Tara knows that he's running off and not showing any respect for what she's asking. And every time she doesn't hold his hand, How does he have the stamina? she's risk of being hit by a car. Crazy. From hazard to humiliation. Please get off. Reese sees supermarket shopping as a chance to practice his football skills. Oh no. Stop it. He's just throwing hot dogs. Reece. He's throwing everything. Oh, I'd be throwing him in jail. That's an absolute nightmare. Taking Reese shopping is a joke. But outside this might be his... the worst behaved kid I've ever seen. Ever. Behaviour is anything but funny. Right. It's downright dangerous. I mean, he's just revolting. He's like a dog. He's like my dog when he sees light. Grab him, Shen. Super Nanny is appalled. We're seeing this every time they go out, and now we're seeing it on a shopping trip. Reese runs off, and his sisters have to be quick enough to be able to catch him in case a car does first. I'm not fucking leaving. Yeah, you will get run over. It just amazes me. Jennifer, that they've thank come you for the eight. Thank you, yeah, Jennifer. It's incredibly dangerous, and they're going to run out much. of luck. Let me tell you that. They, oh my! And look at that KO to end this scene. Run out of luck. Let me tell you that. Right, he's got. You can't see it here. He's got the little Arthur fist. How does he reach her? Watch. Hand up. Boom. Wow. Direct contact. Unbelievable. Back at home, Tara. That's such a British house, by the way. Let's her guard down. A little bit. I take my meds. It's he needs a leash. He needs a jail cell. He needs a police officer. Here, Koopy. I gotta put Koopy on the bed. He's being a little bit weird right now. Come on. Come on. Okay, good. He jumped. He jumped up. Once again, if a kid's acting like that, throw him on the roof. Tell him Santa's coming. I don't care what time of the year it is. Exhausted by her run-ins with Reese, Tara now has Shannon to contend with. Tara Yummy, by the way, when she was younger. It's fine. Same height. Oh, boy. In your room. <laughs> Shannon, unlock that door now. Open this door. Open the door or I'm going to throw rocks through your window. Not bad enough for you, Shannon. In your room. Don't care. Fuck off. Whoa! Oh. oh, I feel bad for this mom, bro. I don't want to see you, okay? Stay there. Don't oh. come out. All right, I'm telling you this now, okay? I can see you're going to lose it. You need to go downstairs. This yeah. is crazy. What I'll just see up there is unhealthy. They better not touch Ooh. Super Nanny Joe there. Frost. Calm yourself down. All right? And then carry These kids are crazy. But Shannon is determined to force a reaction from Tara. The mom is still reeling over the breakup of Tara and Jake. Uh-oh. Let's go away. I'll do it. You're not having a bath. Do what you want, because I don't care. Damn. Oh, my God. Shannon, stop it. And leave me alone now. I want you to leave me alone. Mum doesn't have a bedtime routine with the kids at all. They're screaming at one another. He's getting whooped Outside, on. Outside, you can hear this family having a row. And, I mean, it's just chaos in this house of an evening. It's taken four hours to get the kids to their bedrooms. That's crazy. And Super Nanny has seen enough. Four-year-old Reese and seven-year-old Shannon bad. We're up, bro. We did good. havoc in Hertfordshire. Don't kick us! You were the fan favourites. Don't kick me! And driving single mum Tara matters. Howard to despair. If it was American Idol, we would have won the vote but of the But before Super Nanny Joe Frost can start we may writing not have won the children's the competition. wrongs, she needs to confront Tara with some home truths. All right. If I was going into war, let me tell you something, Tara, you'd be my right-hand man. Mm. You stay strong, you fight to the end, you're in a war zone, mm. but I've got to say, you're falling apart at the seams, girl, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, I know. I saw your kids punch you mm. and hurt you. Mm. Where's the love there and where's the respect that your kids are meant to be showing you when actually they just treat you like some donkey? I don't <laughs> think I would. Some donkey. Let them get away with too much. Excuse me? I don't think I do. 
Are you kidding me? Not a lot. This show is always birth control, Corey. How dare they hit their mother? Mm. Or anybody? I don't respect me. No, definitely not. Because you tolerate it. I like her earrings, though. The heart earrings. Tara, it's a circus parade. You put Mm. him in danger on that street coming home from school to home. Mm. You put him in danger when he was in that car park. What's with the really, really close-up of Joe? Not that I'm complaining, but man, it's a really close-up. Fuck. He could have got hit by a car. No, yeah, no. No, not yeah, I know, Tara. Wake up, girl. But when you're chasing him all day long, you feel you just get so tired of it. So it is very hard. That's so not a good enough excuse. And then we're dealing with swearing. The way the children talk to you is disgusting. Mm-hmm. You don't discipline the kids. There are no consequences for punching you in the face or kicking you. Mm. Let's be realistic here. You're not coping inside your own home. You're not coping outside. It's a, a, a big mess, isn't it? But I'm not, I don't want to be that way. Her voice reminds fine. me of uh, Amy Winehouse. I want to be strong. Her speaking voice. Being strong emotionally doesn't mean that you have to come across as being hard-faced as well. No. But you do. Mm. And so what we're going to do is something completely fresh. I can give you the tools and I can give you the support so that you can achieve the results you want. I'll tell you, the tools you you should give her boxing gloves. Give me your hands. Good, give her the gloves. No, seriously, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready to start and get this done. Yeah? Definitely. All right, let's get work. Mm. I would have the mom box the three kids. The following day, Super Nanny's back and ready for action. Hello. Hello. Okay. Need a routine in this house, so it's going up on the wall. A family routine. Oh, is that is that a common thing in the UK? Is that a washing machine in the kitchen? Is that common? Or is that a dishwasher? No, that's got to be a washing machine. Just kind of just, I've never seen a washing machine in the kitchen. Are there, are there any Brits here? Is that common, mate? It is common. Wow, I've never, I've never, uh, never heard of that before. Okay. Do your dishes and then do your laundry. Normal on Asia too. I mean, I guess it makes sense because you're like, you know, you're in like a, a zone when you're in the kitchen. You're in a cleany zone, so that's not the way. It's, I don't mind. I don't mind that. Okay, need a routine in this house, so it's going up on the wall. A family routine with fixed meals and bedtimes is central to Super Nanny's plan. At seven thirty, everybody up. But almost okay. immediately, Reese demonstrates he's working to his own schedule. Uh-oh. And at 10 o'clock, there he goes, man. Time. Is he about to drink? Reese? Super Daddy jo- Joe just said snack time, and I think he took it to heart. This man is about to swig a bottle of detergent. How is this kid even alive, bro? I don't, I don't, I don't even want to hit play to save his life. I'm going to save Reese's life. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not him double handing it like my wine earlier. Like oh, this dude has done this before. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's letting his intrusive thoughts take over. This is like me when I did want to eat a Tide Pod for a couple days because they just look so Oh, I just want to bite into a fucking Tide Pod so bad. But I never have, don't worry. But Jesus, man. Oh, he almost got it. He is crazy. Look at your boss face. Snack time. The fact that she said snack time. <laughs> but she's like, who are these kids, bro? Reese, would you like a drink? Uh- okay, then what, if you like a drink, what do you say? How do you ask for a drink? You want some detergent? At 10 o'clock, a snack. Then how do you ask for a drink? How do you ask for a drink? Damn. Come down. Mm. Tell him to stop hitting you. Stop hitting me, Reese. So how do you ask How do you ask for a drink correctly? Oh, he tried to headbutt her. Reese, how do you ask for a drink? How do you ask for a drink? Dude, and now he's biting her. This kid is a Satanist, dude. He's scary. Just five minutes into the teaching, Super Nanny's forced to put the routine on hold 
and introduce her discipline system. Put them on the roof. Now, this is what I'd like you to do. Every time he does something that's totally I would attach. I would attach him to the satellite. Whatever dish thing they got up on the roof, I would tie him to it, and I'd let him sit there for about six hours. And I'd say, you know what? You figure it out. You could be the little fiddler on the roof until you figure yourself out. I mean, knowing that painting up there, that's probably blood. Knowing Reese, that's that's probably blood. Acceptable. You are going to come down to his level. Yeah. You're going to give him eye contact and you're going to use a low toned voice. And you headbutt him you in the do face. Not. You're no. projecting your voice. No. But you're not shouting. No. If he chooses to carry on hitting and misbehaving, mm. then he's going to end up in a naughty corner mm. because that's what we're going to use here for discipline for all of the children. Right. This is the first time mm -hmm. that you're going into this now. Mm -hmm. Do not hit me. Do not hit me, Ray. He's gearing that head back. It's your voice. Do, do not, not hit mummy. You do some damage that with that naughty behaviour. Do not hit mummy. That is naughty behaviour. Leave him and up you get. Damn. Right, on we go straight. Reese must stay in the naughty corner for four minutes. A minute for every year of his age. Now you stay there. But he has other ideas. Uh oh. Don't you oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare try to injure Joe Frost. We get him. Straight back. You must don't have a lot of nerve. Him. And we're gonna go into the That's kitchen. a celebrity. He's gone out. Mm -hmm. You're going straight back, straight Damn. back, and you're putting him into the corner. Take the bowl. Take the bowl. Keep him to the wall. Out. Turn him around. Straight. Don't talk to him. Straight in the corner and walk away. Walk away. What are you hanging around for? Back into the corner. And you leave him there. OK, now you're going to get him. You're going to carry on. Don't smile. It's not a game. Chat, I swear <laughs> I have never seen something this bad. I've watched like 30 episodes of this show. Yeah, you fuck up. Oh but Reese is not giving up without a fight. <clears throat> and half an hour later, He's still refusing to stay put. Get outside! How is he so fast? In the north. He's got to do track and field. He corner. He's under the bed. Wait, look. Let's take a look at this montage. For now, he leaves the wall. Later. He's outside on the swing. He's still okay. refusing to stay put. Then he's up on the steps. In the naughty corner. He's under the bed. I mean, this kid would be a hide and seek beast. He would crush FaZe Rugs YouTube channel. Look at him. And he's on the bed. Uh, yeah. Back in the kitchen. Been a cue for <laughs> the girls are outside. They don't want no part of him. Oh my god. This is me when JC shops at expensive places like uh Gucci and shit, and I'm just at the mall looking through the window because they won't let me in because I'm I'm wearing sweatpants. Which is so stupid, by the way. We went to go to dinner one night about a year ago somewhere. And I was wearing sweatpants and the bouncer at the door was like, you can't, you can't come in here. And I was like, I can't eat because I'm wearing sweatpants. And he was like, yeah, we have a dress code. And I was like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> like, that should be illegal. T it was a, di it was for dinner. Like it wasn't, it was just a, pl a dinner place. Pasta. And to misbehave. But today oh. she appears to be taking note of the consequences and keeps a low profile. Yeah! Okay, come with me, Mum. Come here. We're taking back control today. Mm -hmm. All right? No more nonsense. Mm -hmm. You do not allow your son to treat you like that. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. <laughs> She's got to have big muscles, though, from picking his ass up. Yeah, I want to drink, too, listening to you. Okay, and it's not water I want to drink. Okay, I want a shot of anything. Okay, put him in the corner. Okay, this is your first oh, he's sign of recognizing you had the power. Mm -hmm. He turned around and he said to you, I'll stay there. Mm. Okay, this is something. And right now, he's where he's meant to be. <laughs> he's where he's meant to be. Yeah, against the wall. <laughs> That's where he's meant to be in life. Carry on. Doing good. One this hour kid, after the man. tantrum My began, Reese finally does his time in the naughty corner. But before he can leave, Super Nanny sees to it that Mum gets the all-important apology. Mummy put you in the naughty corner. Because, because you're a wanker.
You kept hitting me. Oh. <laughs> and I told you not to hit me. And I told you not to hit me. And you did not listen. And you did not listen. It's Joe Frost telling her what to say was like my mom when I was 10 years old. And I'd be on the phone. And she would just be like repeating things to me so I would not forget it. Like if I had to call a teacher or something. I had to call a teacher once and apologize. My mom would be like, I want to apologize. I want to apologize. <laughs> it's just like this. I want you to say you're sorry, mummy. I want you to say you're sorry, mummy. There we go. Turn around. Turn around. With cuddle. With cuddle. Right, Bria. Thank you. Thank you're Thank accepting you. the apologies. Thank you. Thank you. Tara remained very calm and in control, and Reese understood that she meant business and that she was taking the reins what back. What did you do? You um, I threw a ball and hit my teacher's uh like glass jar and i broke it and i felt really bad mommy for a drink hey mommy can i have a drink please okay yes you yeah can, give him some more dish soap it's been hard today but it's been worth it give him a big glass of uh what detergent i couldn't do with race <laughs> it's funny huh mm. you did that mm. you did that mm -hmm. okay I did feel bad. Next on the agenda, the school run. Oh no. Reese has been dangerously out of control, but Super Nanny believes he won't run off if Tara engages him in the journey. On the way home, Jojo has this Happy Feet map. The map illustrates local happy landmarks feet, on the, the route Penguin home. movie. Each time Reese spots one, he'll be rewarded with a special Happy Feet sticker. Okay, Mum, upbeat. Tara's start? task is to motivate Reese, but after years of school run squabbling, enthusiasm doesn't come easy. Yeah, He's about hand, to take please. off, I can feel it. Please. Well, let's look full of duck pond then. Lift, well look, listen, listen to me. Lift up your voice, girl. If you're going to find it, you yeah. better be finding it on this journey. Yeah. Okay? Well done. He's very receptive to praise. He's like a little okay. salamander. You hold his hand. Hi, Bebony. Let's find the duck pond then, shall we? Reese, stand up, please. And when Reese starts to tantrum, Tara's distracted from the most important job. To be honest, job. the girls are being pretty good right now. You know? The girls are... What we've learned from all these shows... Number one, either the dad isn't around or the dad sucks. And if there's a son, the son is usually the spawn of Satan. Those are two things that we have learned. Above all. Look how you're crossing the road, look. How's everyone safe? Uh, no one is. You're putting race. everyone in danger, cross the road. You're getting all in a fluster. Yeah, I know. They do look like the girls from The Shining. Oh, I've got them here. With the dresses right race. now. Look, what's happening say? here? Race. Does the mom? Does the mom? Not, okay, I, she's she's trying, but does she not know how to cross a street? I didn't what's say. Here? He's stepping out onto the road. Yeah. You can't afford that. You've got cars everywhere. Yeah, I know. Back here. Right, stand back, Race. Right, let's cross. Overwhelmed by the situation, Tara's patience is wearing thin. This is thin. why I'm sticking right. to dogs right, for a stop while. For a minute, you're getting in a big old flap here. Mm. Inside. Maybe a guinea I'm pig or something. Help, to be honest with you. I really don't want to do it. So what's going to happen? Who's going to get this? going to walk home. I'm just going home. Come uh -oh. on. Let's go. She's done. Not, Come on, girls. I'm not doing it. Tara. No, I don't want to do it no more. Tara. Uh-oh. Tara, your kids. Come on, girls. She's literally just leaving the other girls. That's not great. I know you're upset, but maybe leaving the other two girls there is not the best idea. It's your gone. kids. Come on, Tara. Don't make me run, girl. Wait for me. Do uh -oh. it, Joe, no more. Joe's I about to beat ass. I can't because I'm losing my temper and I can't Stop. do it. Stop. You can do it. This is the first time you've done this. Mm. If you give up on the first time you try, what are you saying? No, no, no. You're going to turn this around or not? Yeah. What decision are you going to make? I'm going to turn it. Yeah. Right, you're going to do it. Okay, Tara. Let's do it together, yeah. okay? I love what she says, again. together. Find it again, okay? <laughs> what, what one's next? What's that big palm tree? Have you found it yet? Found it. You've done very well, didn't you? Here, look, you're going to stick your sticker on. Here we go, we did so good. When you give him Fly the child a muzzle. Calm. Right, and a when leash. You give him praise. Yeah. He became more receptive. Yeah. He wants to act like a dog, we'll just walk him. I just couldn't get to grips with it at first. 
Just found it all a bit strange and weird because it felt like it was taking longer to get him home. Well done, Ray. The rest of the journey was better when I'd calmed down and thought about it. Yeah, that's enough! Oh, wow! Yeah, see? I think Tara broke a mental barrier today where she would normally give up and not continue, but she listened and she carried on, so, you know, I'm proud of her for doing that. Give me five! Damn, that was a hard-ass high five. Aww. Look at that one, the oldest sister, bro. Well done. The oldest sister in the background. She is exhausted. She's probably like, bro, I just got done school, and it just took me an hour and 45 minutes to get home. I hate it here. Like, you could just tell from her hand placement. She's like, can I just go inside? Okay, can I just, can I just exist somewhere else? Aww. I don't blame a real her, man. success for Tara, but the biggest challenge of her day lies ahead. Bedtime routine starts now. Already, you're setting yourself up for failure because this is <sighs> because you're worried. Okay, we're gonna do this together. Mm -hmm. okay. Together. Tara usually sends all the children to bed at once, but Super Nanny has decided to stagger their bedtimes. As Reese's youngest, he'll go first. You, we read this book and you go to oh, sleep. Oh, Dora the Explorer. Then when he's asleep. Tara should have time to read the girls their bedtime story. Okay, they're doing the dishes, race, man. And we'll put the other ones downstairs. Okay, awesome bed. Always wanted a race car bed when I was younger. They were a little bit out of the price range. That kid doesn't realize how cool of a mom he has. When you have a race car bed, you are living the dream. Keep your voice nice and yeah. calm. See the, way I'm, see the way I'm talking to you at the moment? Yeah. Just keep everything really calm yeah. and soft like that. At the moment, you're talking to him like he's deaf. Yeah. <laughs> right. Gordon. Reese enjoys the story. <laughs> like he's but deaf. the acid test is whether he'll stay in bed after lights out. Night, night, Reese. Oh, night. Oh, well done. <laughs> it's time for bed. Time for bed, Reese. <laughs> Out you come, leave it. Don't force the cover. Thank you, Sydney. I appreciate you saying that. Welcome into the stream. Because you're going to do the stay in bed technique. Which Thank will you for be being here. Kiss Reese goodnight mm -hmm. and put him to bed. If he comes out, you say to him, It's bedtime, darling, and you put him back in. If he comes out the second time, Hey, big sis, block at him. Good sis. You say it's bedtime. If he comes out a third time, Big you sis say doing her thing. You don't reward him with communication at all and you just put him back yeah, into his bed. He bites bedroom. like a turtle. Okay, the first one, it's bedtime, darling. Bedtime, darling. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. The key oh, to the my. stay in bed technique like is the, remaining like the calm mini joker. and consistent. However many times Reese gets out of bed. It's bedtime. It's the second time sailing. There we go. I feel good. I'm feeling all right, Tim. The third time you say nothing. Oh, my God. He did, yeah, that sounded like Crawford. Yeah. third time you say nothing. That's how whenever whenever someone gives Crawford five subs, that's what I hear next to my my nothing. wall. Now you guys know. <laughs> Half an hour later, and Tara <laughs> should be dealing with the girls, but Reese is still resisting. Oh my God! Oh, the poor girls. What's up, Chastity? <laughs> poor girls. Reese needs to get to sleep. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can't give those girls any quality time no. of an evening. And, I feel like uh, the girls get neglected because right Reese is such a Tasmanian uh, devil. Reese is adamant he won't be going to bed. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. For Tara, it's going to be a long night. I'm really there's got to There's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way. Right, give him a give him a damn pudding and put some melatonin in it, or something. I mean, Jesus, give me a break. I think she's doing remarkably well. Right. From a lady earlier I mean, on, what in the world? That's said, like That's forty-five it. times. Not doing anymore, and stormed off down the street. She could have been at the end I'd of the day. Right, I'd get a door that locks. She's held on, on the outside to the end. And the end only comes after putting Reese to bed a staggering ninety-eight times. Oh my god. That is crazy. Bruh. 98 times. Yo, that is. <laughs> that is actually insane. Oh, I feel so bad for her. 98 times she picked his ass up and put him into that bed. 
Oh my god, where does he find the energy? It's like he's savage. That man, I don't think Savage ever even sleeps, to be honest. That man sleeps at the club. But my god, how the hell? 98 times? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. <laughs> how, is she not, how is she not sweating? 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. How is but she not sweating? did it. Mm -hmm. And he is asleep, and you remain consistent, and mm. you followed through. Mm -hmm. and you I had to walk up three flights of stairs the other day, and I swear to God I was out of breath and sweaty. How the hell is she hasn't breaking a sweat? Um, mm. And you didn't lose it, mm. so you should be extremely proud of yourself. Mm. Super nanny yeah. Joe Frost has come to the rescue of single mum Tara Howard. She's well, begun to tackle you have, yeah, you don't need a gym when you have this tantrum. guy. You can just curl him. I want you to say you're sorry, mummy. And deterred stroppy seven-year-old Shannon from her usual bad behavior, too. Shannon's been fine. Now that an effective discipline system Sabrina. is in place, Super Nanny can concentrate on the family's poor communication skills. She begins by introducing a game. What was the matter with you now, Shannon? Oh, God, not Monopoly. I'm sorry. If you have kids like this, I don't know if Monopoly's the game. <laughs> but... God bless them. I just don't know if I'd be picking Monopoly here. Like, maybe Guess Who? Operation? Something that... Uh, Monopoly? What, do you think they're going to put hotels on Park Place? <laughs> I, right, I can't even complete... Like, I can't tell you the last time I completed a game of Monopoly. Maybe 20 years ago in the 60s. <laughs> what do you... No offense, Joe, but my goodness. This is a... This is, yeah, this is a family ruiner. But Shannon's not up for it. What's the matter? Don't, don't blame her. He keeps grabbing things one, two, three. He's not grabbing nothing. Leave <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Oh, good Shannon, thumbnail. Hold on. <laughs> Pause that for a good thumbnail for future Ryan uh, thumbnail edit. Give that about 10 seconds. That's a real, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good YouTube face. Candyland was great. Loved Candyland. Big fan. Mount Mud. Shannon, instead of crying, use that energy to teach your brother how the game the works. Bear. Number one, we that missed that in the background. I mean, she's seconds away from a broken neck. Need to te teach your I, hello? Anybody watching the sister? She just flips a little bit more. She's fallen on her head on the ground. Okay. Let's just say that. Your brother, how the game works. There's no way to they're stop playing the arguing, this game. Super Nanny needs to teach them to work together. Right. Before any game, let's establish the rules. Funny. Okay, okay, what's up? Bank and I can give out the card. No. No, if you put it there, then you get this. Not no. You have to be able to talk without that whining noise. You're giving me encouragement. For the first time, the children are playing a game together you without know, how the fighting. hell are they playing Monopoly? That was good throwing. They can't even eat dinner. The kids may be communicating properly now, but Tara's still got work to do. They cut that because it didn't last. That afternoon, last. Super Nanny takes her aside to tell Tara the truth about how she appears to her children. Your kids can't read you. Mm -hmm. They can't see the signs of when you're happy and pleased with them. They can't see it when you're not pleased with them. And that's what your kids need to see. They need to see your facial expressions. Okay? She's got to do the Maddie face. face. Mm. It's like that. Very serious. Mm. And you're just very sullen. Mm. I want you to give Reese praise because you know what? What you're so, seeing there yeah, is what he sees. He yeah, of course, yeah. I'm really pleased with you, Reese. Um, <laughs> you've done really, really well. I can do it better than that, I know. All right, let's do it then. And I want you to up your I'm really pitch. pleased with you, Reese. So give me a tone of voice. <clears throat> uh, right. I am really pleased with you, Reese. You've done really, <laughs> really well. I know she's trying. She's very sweet. Well, it's very funny the way she's saying it. Reese, I am very happy with you, Reese. Reese, you are doing great. Excellent. Brilliant. 
you know. Now put a smile on it. <laughs> what I'm saying, yeah. Reese, that's absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Reese, that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Reese, mm. what you just did in there was marvellous. Mm. Reese, what you just done in there was marvellous. Mm. All right. You see, your face is completely different. Mm -hmm. She would be really good on a on an episodic like uh, drama. Grandma watches this kind of uh, soap opera, you know, where they're not supposed to ever smile or laugh. She would crush that. I don't think a comedy would be in her life or her future, but if she played in a serious soap opera, she would make millions. Completely different. Yeah. The teaching has struck to the heart of Tara's problem. I do find it hard to um, share an emotion because of the, the way the children, you know, are. It's got me into that pattern. It's been like that for so, you know, a long time. It's so hard to break out of. He's gonna do this, I feel it. Tara's communication must improve, and a visit to the supermarket is her first chance to practice her new skills. Oh boy, as well as encouraging the children with her voice, Super Nanny wants Tara to involve them in the shopping. All right, I've got a book here that's got your shopping list in it mm -hmm. all right i've divided the pages and given each child a list giving the kids a job will mean they're too busy to tantrum but Ooh, that's, is that bear the, the big blue house in the background will mean they're too busy to tantrum. yeah dude i loved that show loved bear in the big blue house that was my comfort show when i was younger big fan of that guy right there i didn't know they had that in the uk and that little rat right there mm. But before they can even get started, Tara is put to the test. Here we go. Okay. Find the baskets. Come on, up you get. Okay, this is where you're going to keep the cord. Oh no! Look at that! Look at the old lady. Come on, up you get. Okay, this is where you're going to keep the cord. My word! I have never seen such a critter make such a fussy. Come on then, you can help me. Come on, you like shopping. Come on, up you get. Tara's upbeat there tone we go. does the you trick. You got this. Come on, you can help me. You're a big boy, aren't Come you? Back. Come on. And the tantrum is diffused. There we go. What are we looking for? I put him in that basket. Oh, well done, Reese. Sling him over my back. Very good. Considering Reese walked in and started to kick off. She managed to get him up, enthusiastic about doing the shop, and now he's holding the trolley and he's putting his stuff in. She's doing fabulous. Oh, I love that they call it a trolley. Yeah, you love carrots, don't you? You eat them raw, don't you? Hey, what's next right, on what's our next? list? What's next? Chips. Trolley. Yeah, chips, well done. We're going to find Who them. Who said chips? What do you say? Mm, well done. Facial expression. Very good. Tired of what you got it, Tara. It's very good. It. Two days ago, Reese was causing havoc. Brilliant. But with praise from Tara... Well done, Reese. ...he's become Mum's little helper. Sauce. You put them in there. Well done. You like put it in the trolley. Wow, strong boy. That's <laughs> heavy, aren't it? Reese, have we got it all? Cheese, milk, juice. You done really well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well done, all so of well you. Done, so well done, all of you. You walk nicely with Mummy. It's a real high for Tara, and it means a reward for Reese. As a treat, you can go on the aeroplane. Being so good and helping me shop. Oh, he oh. loves that. Yeah. Well done. That in. Yeah. That that on the well. airplane. Compared to any other times I've been shopping, it's brilliant. Way to go, Reese. Why the day the has country? one more obstacle for Tara to face. Bedtime. Keep nice and calm. Mm -hmm. Positive approach, which means lots of control. Last okay. night, bedtime took nearly two grueling hours, and Reese got up 98 times. What one would you like? That's just still Tonight, crazy. Tonight, Super Nanny's hoping for a big improvement. 97. So far, everything is going absolutely beautifully. And everything's very calm. What we did definitely today is we drugged him. Which is fantastic. She's doing a really good job. Put an really ambient in his biscuit. There we go. You stay there, Reese. Tara should now be able to devote quality time to each daughter. But once again, Reese doesn't want to miss out. We knew it wasn't going to be that easy, let's be real. Reese is desperate to stay up. I've changed something in this house and I've staggered the bedtime routine. So he thinks he's missing out. He wants to be up when the girls are up. And so he's playing up. Here so we go. Is still 
Yeah, he's definitely Reese got FOMO. Back upstairs as he keeps coming downstairs. And now he's fighting. Completely ignore that. Do you oh remember gosh. that last night? To get a reaction from you. He's like a little okay, drunk man. By keeping her cool, Tara sends Reese a clear message. I'm not gonna lie, he, that scared cool, the hell out of me. Tara, I thought that that was like a legit. I don't know why I thought that was a real lizard, but like, <laughs> I thought they were gonna be like, and this is plan B. <laughs> we put a gigantic crocodile in Reese's bed. <laughs> like, dude, that scared the hell out of me. I guess the black and white camera, like it just looks real. We put a man eating lizard to scare Reese into sleeping. Tara sends Reese a clear message, and he quickly backs down. The girls get their special time with mum, and by 8.30, all three children are in bed. Okay. You went up there with confidence tonight, Tara. That's mm -hmm. decent. That took less time than yesterday. Than yesterday. And the girls got time tonight with you downstairs. Yeah, that's right. Give me a hug, you. Look at you. Joe Frost doing what she does best, down, man. Huh? Yeah, definitely. I feel great. Don't feel stressed. Angry. She deserves a drink. Nothing. Nothing at all, not even tired. It's the last day of teaching. With Reese's bad behaviour and remission, Super Nanny can now teach Tara how to give him positive attention. He loves excited apples, that about kid, what man. You've got this Look what mummy's got here. Look what mummy's got here, Reese. What colours are they? Green. Green. Well done. Reese, what's this one then? Orange. Orange. Yeah, well done, Reese. That's He's brilliant. a genius. Really up the ante on this. You have to be animating, okay? Mm -hmm. He's very receptive to that. As soon as you start smiling and clapping, yeah! He gets like, yeah, look yeah. what I've done. Red. Yeah, well done. Reese is not a boy who just behaves badly for the fun of it. And when well he's not focused... Look, I know he's trying, but feet in the fruit bowl, Reese. We could work on that. We don't want the dogs on, on, the, on the bananas. He creates. Let's get those feet off the apples, buddy. Reese can be mentally stimulated so that he's not bored. We won't see this behavior. Yellow. Yellow. With a focus, Reese now better behaved. That's nice. Gonna make a jelly. Yeah. Tara Once has again, more time They acted energy. like the one girl was crazy in the beginning of the episode. I haven't seen anything wrong with any of the girls. I don't think they've done a single thing wrong. Need to devote to her girls. Do that. Well done, Case. Cut that well. Since Super Nanny's arrival, there's been a massive turnaround. A change not lost on Shannon. Since Super Nanny's been here, um... Right, Tori, I agree. Mum's saying nice things to us, like... Excellent, well done. That's it nice. makes me feel really happy. Before oh. Super Nanny came, I didn't that. spend a lot of time with the two girls, and we made jelly fruit today in the kitchen, and they loved it, and I loved doing it with them. It feels like I'm starting to know them more now by doing that. Super Nanny's oh, teaching Dolly. has come to an end. Poor Reese so Hoskins, can I have a Mike. Hug? Oh, that sucks. They're just going now. For the I next miss, week, I miss Tara will go it to Lee's Hoskins. Hi, sweetie, see what I get back. Makes but me Super sad. Nanny Where did he go? Where did he sign with? On Tara. Hey, take care, Tara. Keep People up Moon, the good thanks for the first time yeah. chat. Yeah. I do feel that she is going yeah, to have her I gotta look buttons that up. pushed. I do feel that Shannon will test her. Reese will, and I hope that Tara just remembers everything she's been taught whilst I've been here. You know, ever know it's like, Joe has such a swagger walk, man. You, she's got such confidence. Like, look what she walks. She just knows she's that bitch, man. She just knows she's the shit. That's why I love her. Right. Things she, get she off She really to a knows how start. to walk. Mm -hmm. Mom, do you think you could do that? Maybe. Tara's continued use of positive praise seems to be what. Oh, he's got the uh, energetic, spiky hair, child hair style right there. Every energetic, crazy child has the spiky hair. Looking wonders. It is a fact. Oh, that's an M. That's well done. And then another M. Yeah, you've done really well. And the once dreaded school run has been changed into a civilized stroll. Reese is more interested in spotting landmarks than running around them. And then Reese ran into the street and got hit by a bus. You can see it. Well done. 
brilliant work, right? But by the middle of the week, Tara's first big test arrives. <laughs> uh oh, one of the girls acting up. <laughs> Shannon decides she only wants to eat half the lunch Tara's prepared. Okay. She's not backing down. No, I don't want more. All right, Shannon, I'm going to listen. Right, I'm going to give you a warning now. And that's a warning. Okay, so if you'd like to go off. But instead of being firm and following through with her warning, Tara gets drawn into conversation with Shannon. Now? You're going to have two because you need a full lunch, okay? Because then you get hungry. Right, Shannon, off you go. You've had your warning. If you're going to go... <laughs> Shannon. And when she finally makes it into okay, the naughty right corner, the corner, Tara and her daughter have locked horns. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Stand up. She learned from her brother, Reese. Stand there. And I, I was just praising her. This is what I get, man. I was being... Look at that. Uh oh, sand, sandal to the face, chocolate. It takes well over an hour before Shannon finally stays put for her full oh seven God, minutes. She's too. I'm gonna be honest. She's too grown for that. Seven years old. You gotta. You gotta stay on that wall. It's hard, Shannon. Shannon, we were rooting for you. Keep in mind, <laughs> we had high faith in you, Shannon. It's the start of a downward slide. Over the next few days, Tara stops talking. Race, get here. And starts shouting again. Oh boy. Get up that table. Get out your Warning! You say that again, you go to the naughty corner. I have never seen a four-year-old curse that much in my life. Not even kidding. He's dropped like forty f bombs. I've, I've, that's, I. Don't even think I knew what a curse word was when I was four. I, I'm not even kidding. I don't think I cursed until I was like 11. All right, girls, could you go downstairs, please, and do something quietly? By the end of her week without Super Nanny, Tara's on a short fuse and running out of patience. Excuse me, it's quiet time. I will give you a warning. All right, girls, girls, could you go and sit down now and be silent? No, could you go and sit down and be silent? I'm put, put, now putting your brother to bed. <laughs> right, warning! Shannon is getting to Tara. And the atmosphere at bedtime is anything but calm. No, you lie down, please, Reese. I'm not having this. Off you go. Off you go, please. I'm trying to read. I've just asked you to go downstairs. Girls, go downstairs. Oh, God, that would drive me nuts. This is like a horror movie. Oh, yeah. What was that noise? He just shit his pants? What was that? Oh, la -la. Was that his at? What was that? Was that a what is he doing? Oh, it's silly putty? Oh, thank God. I thought he just shit on the step. I'm gonna be honest. I was like, this man just shat on the step. Thank God it was f fart putty. That was so scary. It's like, bro, all that jelly fruit really got to him. Yeah. When Reese gets out of bed, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, hell no. Fucking wanker. Oh, yeah. When Reese gets out of bed, fucking wanker. <laughs> he's a demon. A stressed Tara is quick to point the finger. That's because all because you two were loud, and I couldn't get him calm. Oh, no. He's gone high, Poe. Oh, boy. <laughs> Reese is scary. I'm not going to lie. Tara's demoralized. Hey, Jules. Hey, Kayla, how are you? I don't think I said hi to you. Kayla. And attack, how are you? Do not throw! Oh. Right! I can't even say I, don't, I blame her, to be honest. Like, I get it. You're not supposed to yell, but man. Man, I don't know, dude. Like, that's just a lot to deal with, man. Being a single mom, you deserve an award for that, especially with three kids, especially with Satan. I, I, I mean, it's a sh not, it's Do not, not! Okay. Throw! Super Nanny is due back in the morning, and not a moment too soon. We need you, Joe. Soon. We need you. Oh, we need you, Joe. 
You and I need to talk, Tara. We need to stop you from getting to the stage we need you, where Jill. you become the ugly person I just saw. Super Nanny's back. Hello. To show Tara where she's gone wrong, starting with Shannon's tantrum. Listen, right, I'm going to give you a warning now, and that's a warning, OK? So if you'd like to go off... Shannon, you have a... Listen. Shannon, you have a choice. Right, what's a warning? I'm, I'm going to give you a warning, and that's a warning. I saying it, didn't I? Your warning... I have the same uh, arm, to shoulder Shannon, freckles as her. That you're not putting up with it. And when mm -hmm. I get sun, which but is rare, I get a lot of freckles on my nose. Do I even have freckles anymore? The warning, rather than just giving it to her. Mm. As she knew it, Seriously. Did freckles you disappear? Hit me. <laughs> there a little bit. No, 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 when I used to, when I go in the sun, I get a lot of freckles. Dude, they're like gone. My shoulder is full of them though. I feel like fucking pull my shoulder out. I have tattoos. I keep forgetting. I've lost your free time now. No. When you took her back to the corner, mm. you talked to her. Mm. You see, how did you feel when that was all happening? I wish I didn't have freckles. Oh, yeah, I like the yeah. freckles. They're cool. You got a battle going. Only girl. time I didn't mm. like the freckles is when my grandma would try to wipe them and think they were dirt. And I'd be like, how many times have we done this? I don't just have a dirty face 24-7. It's skin. Like, let me see your... Like, ow, it's not coming off. It's my skin. Like, I, how do you not know at this point? I love, I love my grandma, but she used to do that every week. I was hoping eventually she would know, maybe learn a little bit. And you need to be the one that steps away from it. Like, when you remain calm, really when you me. don't feed into the fire of confrontation with Shannon, then it's all different. So it's about recognising that. Now, you lie down, please, Reese. I'm not having this. Oh, Off you go. Down. Off you go, please. I'm I trying to read. Oh, I've just asked you to go it's downstairs. Down. Look at your face. Yeah. You've got your hand over. You're like, mm. in the minute, I am mm. going to snap. Right, what should you have done right at that moment? Drink wine. Ignore them. That's when you're going to Reese and you say, Mommy, be back in a minute, darling. And that's when you take... Mommy, I said, Mommy's going to the bar. Take yourself into the bathroom mm -hmm. and you take a minute and you recognise I've got an option here to either remain calm mm. and get through the evening in the correct manner or to behave another way, mm. which then will manifest itself in mayhem. <laughs> oh, no, no. she's not going to like this. This is not going to go well. Here we go. Not bro. Yep, knew it. Right. That was ugly. Mm. And when you shout to that degree where you're pointing at them in their face, it's intimidating. And it shows just purely a loss of control. And I know that you can get through that bedtime without going back to how you were before. Mm -hmm. Ready for some more work then? Yep. OK. The work starts with a trip to the local park. But Shannon doesn't want to get in the car. Come on, Shannon. OK, you have a decision to make. <laughs> Sometimes kids are so funny. It's like, you know what? I'm just going to sit on the ground. <laughs> Who's that kid? Is that Reese? Who's that? That's just some random ass kid. Come on, Shannon. Get up, Shannon. It's an opportunity for Super Nanny to show Tara an alternative to heated confrontation. That's your decision. Whether you're going to carry on and sit on that floor and not listen to mummy, or whether you're going to. But remember, if you make a decision not to, then there are consequences for that. What are you going to do? OK, lovely. Good decision making. She's so good. It's not yeah. She has to go in the car. How is she so good? She's so good at this. Like, I know it's her show, but that was so good. Yeah, but she has a decision She to just make. immediately got oh, up like exactly. she was a sim, and we just told her to go to the car. That's so crazy. What I do? Yeah. Okay. This is not about you forcing her to go anywhere. This no. is about Shannon. And that's Shannon why Joe Frost is one of already. my many wives. All right, then let's go and have some fun in the park. Once there, Shannon's still not playing ball. But rather than confront her, Tara she ignores her mood. Too. It's very true, Whitley. Oh, 
Well done, mate. Man, that is a packed park. My God. For such a small playground, that thing is bumping. Oh, well done, Good mate. kick by Reese. God Go! damn. Yeah, give me five. Go! And it works. 15 minutes later, Shannon has a change of heart. There we there go, we Shannon. Go, Shannon. And the whole family can play together. And then Reese got hit by a car. <laughs> just, the, just the way they show the bike. Why did they have the bike with the tire spinning? Back at home, Super Nanny wants Shannon and Tara to try a new method of mother daughter bonding talking to each other. Right, Loki. Let me open the first line for you. Mm. Sometimes you two bang heads together. Yeah, we do argue, don't we, Shannon? Yeah, thank you guys as well, for staying up with me. Shouts. I appreciate it. This is this is a rare stream. These happen like once every two months, so thanks for hanging with me. I know a lot of you are probably like typing like I get it. It's not even midnight here. And she gets angry as well. But thanks for hanging so with me. What do you think that the two of you could do more of to Once help again, you guys are getting the Mario Party video tomorrow. Yep, yeah, that's right. What else could you do, Shannon? That would help Mummy so that she wouldn't get angry with you and put you in the naughty corner. Listen to Mum. That's it. Now you're thinking. How much does Mummy love Shannon? Yeah, I appreciate it. Mummy loves Shannon millions. Yeah. And trillions. And trillions and trillions. Our world. Hmm? And trillions and trillions and trillions. It's all the and first trillions. time shatters. Mm. And how much this shatters? I am the narrator. Like yes. I appreciate all the new follows tonight. Thank lots you so and much. Lots and lots and lots. Mm. It's it means nice a lot that you guys are here. Mm. Oh, that's nice. They do have a volatile oh. relationship, so it's incredibly important that they talk because it allows them to be able to bridge the gap between the pair of them and resolve what has been happening before. From now on, Shannon and Tara are to have yeah, a yeah, weekly heart-to-heart. -heart. I'm glad, Coco. Bedtime has been the biggest test of Tara's temper, and tonight she's already getting agitated with Reese. Yeah. Bedtime now. Mace, give that back, please. Yeah. Damn. All right, come here. Every time we got to look up an update after this don't chat. Don't shout and get hyper with him. No. Do you guys think? No. Do you guys think Reese is in jail? Let's be honest. We might have to do a poll. Did Reese end up in prison when he got older? I'm going to be honest, man. There's a good chance he might have went to jail. I'm going to be really, really honest with you. The opposite. I'm going to look up the update right after this, but I really think he might have went to prison. Yeah. Okay, remember his cycle. This is, this is Reese that we're seeing from last week. Mm -hmm. He needs to go on right. resets, but you know what I'm saying? What we're going to see is you from last week. Yeah, yeah. Vote the poll, see what you think. Did Reese go to jail after filming this? Reminded to keep calm, vote yes. Tara sets Reese up for a restful night's sleep. This one. That one. It's good. This little boy was in the rain. This little boy was in the hail. And this little boy in particular, this little Reese ended up in jail. Good boy. Kiss a kiss then. No night. And for the first time ever, he doesn't get out of bed once. Oh, look at that. Marvelous. You remained really calm. He started to create just before bedtime, and you didn't rise to any of that. And you created that nice ambience for him to feel very that. rested mm -hmm. and wanting to put his head down on that pillow. Getting Reese down without a fuss gives Tara quality time with her girls. Tonight, Shannon and Casey are putting on a show for Mum. Right here, look, now, listen. <laughs> look like Peter. <laughs> What's really nice is to see Mum enjoying bedtime with the girls, reading stories, and actually having a laugh, all of them. Which is a big difference to what it used to be like when she used to put the girls to bed, so it's nice to see that. Kiss the kids. Right, right now, night, girls. OK, this is good, I like this. Super Nanny's work here is done. It's time for her to leave Tara and her family. Listen, take care. If I'm Tara, I'm like, you want the guest bedroom? Like, do you just want to stay? <laughs> like, I would be like, listen, Joe, I'll build a whole fucking secondary house for you. Okay? Rent free. Let's go, Leslie. Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate it here. Yeah, I would be so sad family. when she left. Okay. Right. There is a turnaround in this family. Also, Joe always got some really mom, good uh, purses. Kids are definitely a happy nanny. He's got a nice purse on her. 
at that walk again, man, that confident walk. <laughs> a month later, and family life has changed completely. Mm. Super Nanny has changed my life and my family's life for the better. Me and my children like are communicating voice. better together. We're having a lot more fun than we ever did before. <laughs> Reese is no longer dominating life with violent tantrums. Reese today has changed completely. Well, we're going to look up that update, tonight. don't you worry. He's such a good boy now. So Tara's freed up to spend more time with her daughters. It is really, really nice when I spend time with my mum. That's sweet. My mum talks to us and she cuddles us and kisses us. Lots is he drinking a bottle of honey mustard? Hold on. And she cuddles and What is he drinking? You never know with this kid. That looks like a bottle of mustard. Hey, you know what? Whatever gets him happy. Kisses us. Lots and lots. Give me a kiss. <laughs> I'm definitely a better parent now than I ever was before Jay arrived, definitely. It's brilliant. All right, Joe did it again. But did she? Let's find out. A Howitt family. Let's see if there's an update. Super Nanny. Update. All right, let's see here. Is there a real update? Okay, I don't care about trivia. Okay, no update there. Mm -mm -mm. Uh-oh. The Howitt Family Return is the second episode. They got to come back. Oh, no, they had to come back. <laughs> Reese was now five. <laughs> and John, Chara's boyfriend. Oh, we got to watch this episode next time. We got to watch the next one. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate you being here. Look at that. So it did not go great. There is a second part two to this episode. Wow. And we have a new boyfriend. We might have to watch this tomorrow. We might have to do the part two or or uh, Saturday. Okay. So things did not go great, apparently.